Hey guys, in this Magical Voxel video, I'm going to show you how to import height maps into Magical Voxel and use them to create realistic looking terrain, like what you see in this image. I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. The first way, you can import as a height map and it will fit in the 256 voxel limit that Magical Voxel has for objects. And the second way, while you do need Photoshop for it, allows you to create much larger terrain for projects that you want large scale. So let's get started. So some prerequisites you would need is to download Wall Painter. If you want full control and fle flexibility for your height maps, Wall Painter will allow you to do that. It gives you full control on, it basically allows you to generate whatever terrain you want. So we'll go ahead and download that. And if it gives you an error message, make sure you have the latest version of Java. After downloading and installing World Pinder, after you open it, it should look something like this. I want to go ahead and create some hills and mountains here. Go over here to the left and click on Height. And then go over to the right on Brushes. And I want a hard edge brush just to make things faster. Also like this and increase the intensity. I'm not going to go in detail on what all these buttons do. There's many tutorial videos on YouTube and on Google that you could search for that. Oops, maybe not that. That's probably too hard. Let's see. Let's go ahead and kind of get rid of that. No, it just increased the intensity all the way. Oh, that's weird. What is that? Let me undo all that by pressing Control Z. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend using that. I'm not sure what that does. Go ahead and just create some hills. So holding left mouse click allows you to generate height. And if you press and hold left, uh, sorry, if you press and hold right mouse button, you lower the terrain. Left mouse click raise terrain. Right mouse click lower terrain. Now I'll link a um, I'll link it some custom brushes that a creator on YouTube has done in the description below because I'm probably going to use that for realistic sake using normal brushes or kind of don't generate realistic looking terrain so go ahead I'm going to go ahead and use these actually and if you use the scroll wheel on your mouse you can actually increase or decrease the size of your brush. So if you want some really detailed points, you can scroll in and get that. But maybe I want to scroll and just block in this area. A cool thing in World Painter is that if you go to View, Show 3D View, you can actually see the terrain from a isometric view, and it basically almost like a cut down version of magical box in a sense because you can see what your terrain looks like before you even implement it so you can get really fine tuned with it. If I go back to view actually show through the view. It looks like this is kind of high so I'm going to go ahead and go to this for smooth. Maybe decrease the intensity, decrease the size and kind of smooth out this area here. Go back to height, so like some brush that looks realistic. Oops, increase the size. Let's go ahead and just block this area. Maybe we'll have like a hilly mountainous area surrounded by, actually no, a, a lake surrounded by a hilly mountainous area. Alright, now that you're happy with your work, or whenever you're happy with your work, go ahead and go to File, Export, and Export as Height Map. Go ahead and save it wherever you'd like, and give it a name if you want. I'm just going to call this Tutorial Height Map. Make sure it saves as a PNG, or just, it automatically shows it, but if it doesn't for whatever reason, 
make sure it has it as PNG. Hit save. Okay, now that that's saved, go ahead and open Magic Voxel. Delete the cube. Go into the world view, either by double clicking outside of the box or clicking on this arrow here. You can see I'm in object mode. If I click this, I go into world mode. Delete this object. And then because I saved it on desktop, I'm going to um, basically make this a window and try and drag and drop this height map that we created from World Painter into Magical Voxel. You can see we it did not work because this is a very small object, probably just one voxel size, and that's not right. So there's actually another step we need to do to actually import this. So go ahead and close Magical Voxel. Go to the start menu and go to paint. We're going to go ahead and open the height map that we created earlier. In this case, I saved it in desktop, so it's just right here. Open. And then we're going to save as PNG picture. And I'm just going to replace it. Make sure it's saved as PNG. It's going to say, or it exists, yes. And transparency loss, who cares, doesn't matter. Yes, okay. Now that we are in Magical Voxel, we are going to um, close this cube, go into the world mode, delete the cube, and this is a very important step. You want to make sure for your palette set to the um, second mode. This is so you can get the gradient correct. Gotta go ahead and make this window again and then drag and drop the height map into Magical Voxel. As you can see, it loaded in fine. Um, now I'm going to go back into object mode. Right now it's saved as 256 by 256 length and width with a height of 1. Uh, we're going to change this to 256 because heights are probably more than one voxel. So now that the limit for your height map generation could be up to 256. And I'm going to go ahead and enter a command here. XS height. There will be a link in the description for this. As you can see, it loaded in fine. Um, let's go ahead and switch to new palette and then maybe check out what it looks like. And the world painter map that we created successfully implemented in Magical Voxel. Look at that, guys. You can mess around with this however you want. Let's see, maybe you can give it some water. Look water maybe yeah let's try it bop oops I did not like that try to find the lowest point here ah there you go cloud maybe As you can see, we successfully imported a height map that we created ourselves into Magical Box, so it's really powerful. Hopefully, you guys will be able to make awesome projects with this method. If you guys have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. I will have a second video on creating larger height maps in the future, but for now, hopefully this is enough to get you started. Thanks for watching.